science fiction and fantasy have always been some of the most popular genres across books, movies, and television. But even though these close cousins are often lumped together in bookstores, they're still separated by the way they depict their class systems, in the use of their technology, and the worlds where the stories take place. But what if these two genres form together? In the writing world, we know there are many subgenres laying beneath both the science fiction and fantasy labels. But it's the genre of science fantasy that we're going to explore here. Science fantasy is not a well-known term to a lot of people. But what if I told you some of the most popular books and films are in fact science fantasy? In fact, one of the biggest movie franchises of all time, Star Wars, is now being called science fantasy. For a long time, Star Wars was considered science fiction due to the space battles and technologically advanced weapons. But just because something takes place in space doesn't automatically make it science fiction. At its core, Star Wars is a fantasy fairy tale set within space. To explain, science fantasy takes the traditional tropes of both fantasy and science fiction and mixes them together, purposely creating a setting that has the feel of both. A hard science fiction story with the world and tech are based in scientific explanation. For instance, Star Trek explains how the Enterprise is able to reach warp speed due to the use of dilithium crystals and so forth. Where in a pure fantasy, like Game of Thrones, they show the use of magic from Melisandre but only explain that it comes from the Lord of Light. Magic and dragons exist because that is the rules of the world that George R.R. R. Martin created. Mixing the two under the umbrella of science fantasy creates some fascinating stories. It offers the freedom to explore creativity and also provides a sense of realism within the elements being portrayed. Take a superhero series, for example. Superheroes either settle into their own genre or they fall under fantasy. But most superheroes include both elements of science fiction and fantasy to showcase how the heroes and villains develop their powers. In the Flash series on the CW, there's a great example of this. Barry Allen attained his powers through a lightning strike, which is a fantasy element. But throughout the series, as he develops those powers, his team of scientists explain to him the technical reasons why the new power will work. Another example is the magical staff of one that Nico Minoro uses in the series Runaways. The comic book shows the staff as a more magical element. It appears from Nico's chest after she calls it with bloodletting. In the TV show on Hulu, the staff is first introduced as a piece of technology made in her mother's labs. As the show carries on, the staff of one soon takes on a magical element, reminiscent of the comics as more of a magical world comes into play on the show. Runaways has combined elements of sci-fi such as the Fistagons Chase Stein uses with hardcore magic like the spells Morgan Le Fay uses making it the perfect example of science fantasy. And the way they weaved the tropes together worked well to ground the world in a type of reality that audiences could relate to more. So if you didn't know you could mix science fiction and fantasy into one novel, now you have permission. In fact, it's encouraged. 